Welcome to the Mattress 350 RTK tutorial video. This video will show you how to update the firmware of the M350 aircraft and its remote controller. For a better flight experience, please use the latest version of firmware. Method 1 Updating with DJI Pilot 2. Power on the remote controller and the aircraft, and make sure that they are linked successfully. When the remote controller gets access to the network, the app will automatically check whether the firmware version of the aircraft and the remote controller needs to be updated. When a new firmware update prompt appears on the DJI Pilot 2 app, tap the update prompt to enter the update page. Tap Update All Devices. Do not power off the aircraft or exit the DJI Pilot 2 app during the update process. The firmware update finishes when an updated successfully prompt appears on the app. It is normal that the aircraft restarts automatically during the update process. Do not turn off the aircraft. Method 2. Offline Update. Visit DJI's official website and go to the download page on the M350 page and tap to download the latest offline firmware package. Power on the remote controller and the aircraft. Enter the DJI Pilot 2 app, tap to enter the health management system. Tap firmware and offline update. Select the update package and tap update all. Then the aircraft will start to update automatically. Do not power off the aircraft or remove the SD card before completion of the updating to avoid damages to the aircraft. The aircraft will restart automatically after the firmware update is done. Method 3, Updating with DJI Assistant 2 for Enterprise. Connect the aircraft or the remote controller to a computer using the cable, and power on the device. Run the DJI Assistant 2 for Enterprise software. Select the connected device. Tap Firmware Update on the left and wait to refresh the firmware list. Select the latest firmware and click Upgrade. Do not turn off the power, exit the DJI Assistant 2 for Enterprise software or disconnect the data cable during the update process. The device will restart automatically after the firmware update is done. If the update fails, restart the device and try again. Thank you for watching.